All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Ruby reaction. Today we got Volume Two, Chapter Six, Burning the Candle, and the last one. We saw that we're gonna have a dance on Sunday. Everybody's trying to get their date. John tried to get with Weiss. Weiss immediately shut him down. Ice Queen. <laughs> and um, what else happened? Oh, and um, Mercury fought Pyrrha, which obviously he did it for a reason. He was trying to find out what her um semblance. I think that's what it's called, the semblance, her special ability that she has. And obviously she's able to um, manipulate. Not manipulate. She's able to move metal, I guess. And so Mercury found that out, went to Cinder at the end of the episode, was like, yeah, we found this and this about her. She's not as invincible as everybody thinks she is because she uses her ability, but she doesn't overly use it. She, these little subtle touches in the battle. She's able to use that. Most people don't pay attention to it, but Murky paid attention to it, obviously, because they're doing this for a reason. They're trying to, I'm pretty sure they're just trying to find out what everybody's semblance is. And she got added to the list, which I'm guessing, like I just said, added to the list maybe just means that they found out what their semblance is. She is added to this ongoing list that they have since they infiltrated Beacon now of what everybody's semblance is, what their abilities are, what their weaknesses could be. And yeah, let's just move on to this now. Volume two, chapter six, burning the candle. Let's go. I'ma just keep the intro guys. Cause last time video got blocked anyway, so no point. Yo, this theme got to me already bro I like this thing maybe even more than the first one oh yeah see and in the world of remnant video if you guys watched my dust reaction it was talking about infusing dust into the clothing and cinder has a lit up a little dress. So does she infuse, infuse her clothing with dust? Does that give her a special ability? I don't know. But... but now you guys know what the hell I was talking about in that video. Hopefully. I need you to pick a tablecloth. Aren't they both the same? I don't even know why I asked. Oh, it's time to set up a goddamn yang. <laughs> Just carrying that big old speaker by herself. So, have you picked out a dress yet? What's the point? Who cares about the dance if Blake isn't going? Oh, don't worry. She's going. Weiss! I thought we agreed. Yo, they're setting no up all the doilies. place. All right, for sure. I don't get doilies. You don't High school prom. Machines. Your dance is going to have fog machines? We were thinking about Ooh. it. That's pretty cool. You ladies all excited for dress up? Yeah, right. Laugh all you want. I'll be turning heads tomorrow night. What are you two wearing? Hey, there we go, yay. Uh, this? Ignore him, for he knows not what he says. Hey, I may have moved to Mistral, but I grew up in Vacuo. It's not exactly a shirt and tie kind of place. Yeah, we've noticed. So, uh, what does Blake think of all this? She's still being all, you know, Blakey. Blakey. I still can't think of a way to change her mind. Guys. Trust me, Blake will be at the dance tomorrow. All right, so Blake is still investigating stuff. Damn, she's tired. Look at her eyes. Hmm. <laughs> a little laser like playing with a cat. Who's messing with her? Who is it? There it is again. Mm. Mm. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on? Who is it? Oh. Hello. It's Yang. Okay, we need to talk. Huh. Huh? We 
need to talk. Oh. We need to talk, bro. I need help. I'm just gonna come out and say it. You are one of my best friends. These past few months, I feel like we really bonded. Even though you don't say much. <laughs> You're really quiet. To be perfectly honest, I don't know that much about you personally. But darn it, I consider you to be the brother I never had. Okay. And I, you. <laughs> Which is why I wanted to get your advice on girls. Girls? I just don't know how he doesn't to know the game. Girls. Um, I, I guess what I'm asking is, well, how did you and Nora, you know? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Nora's there. Together, together. Nora, I said headphones on. John, what is this all about? <sighs> it's wise. Man, just go for Pira, bro. God damn it. <laughs> she won't even give me a chance. Go for Pira, she's man. Cold, but she's also incredible. She's smart and graceful and talented and confident. I mean, have you heard her sing? I just wish she'd take me seriously. You know, I, I wish I could tell her how I feel without messing it all up. Then do it. Uh, what? Tell her exactly what you've just said. Oh my God, no, Pira, no, baby. No, pick up lines. Just talk from honest. the heart. But what, John? You can't get it wrong if it's the truth. Yeah, man. What what better advice do you want right. from a female herself? Thanks, Pira. Shit, you Goodbye. know that hurts Pira so much. Yep. Gout. That's what you preach, Pira. Exactly, Pira. You gotta speak up. Yang, if you're going to tell me to stop, you may as well just save your breath. I don't want you to stop. I want you to slow down. We don't have the luxury to slow down. It's not a luxury, it's a necessity. The necessity is stopping Torchwick, and we're going to. But first you have to sit down and listen to what I have to say. Fine. Ruby and I grew up in Patch, an island just off the coast of Vale. Our parents were huntsmen. Our dad taught at Signal, and our mom would take on missions around the kingdom. No. Her name was Summer Rose. Summer Rose? Like Super mom, baker of cookies and slayer of giant monsters. And <laughs> then, one day she left for a mission and never came back. It was tough. Ruby was really torn up, but oh shit, did she die? She was still too young to really get what was going on, you know. And my dad just kind of shut down. It wasn't long before I learned why. Summer wasn't the first love he'd lost. She was the second. The first was my mom. He wouldn't tell me everything, but oh, I learned so that got the two of them had been on a team together with Summer and Crow, Two different moms. Oh. And that she'd left me with him just after I was born. No one had seen her since. Why did she leave you? <sighs> that question. Why? I didn't know the answer, but I was determined to find out. It was all I thought about. I would ask anybody I could what they knew about her. Then, one day, I found something. What I thought was a clue that could lead me to answers. Or maybe even my mother. I waited for Dad to leave the house, put Ruby in a wagon, and headed out. I must have walked for hours. I had cuts and bruises, was totally exhausted, but I wasn't going to let anything stop me. When we finally got there, I could barely stand. But I didn't care. I had made it. And then I saw them. Nope. Those burning red eyes. Creatures are grim. There we were. A toddler asleep in the back of a wagon and a stupid girl too exhausted to even cry for help. We might as well have been served on a silver platter. But, as luck would have it, our uncle showed up just in time. Uncle Crow. My stubbornness should have gotten us killed that night. Yang. I'm sorry that happened Shit, to you. that's a deep and ass I understand story. understand what you're trying to tell me, but this is different. I'm not a child, and this isn't just a search for answers. I can't just... I told you, I'm not telling you to stop. I haven't. 
To this day, I still want to know what happened to my mother and why she left me. But I will never let that search control me. We're going to find the answers we're looking for, Blake. But, but you gotta live life. The process, then what good are we? You don't understand. I'm the only one who can do this. No, you don't understand. If Roman Torture walked through that door, what would you do? I'd fight him. You'd lose. I can't stop him. You can't even stop me. Shit, we got some real talk here. I'm not asking you to stop. Just please, get some rest. Not just for you, but for the people you care about. Damn. And if you feel like coming out tomorrow, I'll save you a dance. I'll save you a dance. Oh my god. Yo, is he actually gonna do it? Yes, there's three minutes left. Oh my god, no. It's oh, time uh, to hey, break hearts. I know this is a little unorthodox, but I wanted to ask you something. Would you like to accompany me to the dance tomorrow? <laughs> oh man. Broken hearts. Shit, boy. <laughs> no. Oh shit, we're in the dance already. Oh, you look beautiful. That's Ruby. Uh, can we have a serious talk about how Weiss fights in these? Uh, uh. Okay, Ruby. <laughs> Oh shit, he's wearing a shirt and a tie. Hey, Turner! So, oh. Does this mean we're going together? Technically, that my first dance is spoken for. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, what's their dates, man? Come on now. <laughs> yeah, she's having fun. That's good. I told you there we go. Mission accomplished. So, what do we do now? Just have fun. Does that mean I can change out of these stupid things and into my hood now? <laughs> stupid lady stilts. Not enjoying yourself? A spoon? Oh, no. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm just not much of a fancy, fancy, fancy girl. Well, you can't spend your entire life on the battlefield, even if you may want to. Yeah, that lesson's been floating around a lot lately. If you think about it, fighting and dancing aren't so different. Two partners interlocked, <laughs> although one wrong move on the ballroom merely leads to a swollen foot. Or a twisted <laughs> ankle. It's not every day that friends are able or you to follow and it's all embarrassing time has a way of testing our bonds but it's nights like these that can help keep them stronger than ever nights like these are ones we'll never forget you guys are who is just it? in time who is it oh of you course miss it for the world mercury and emerald oh my god <laughs> no. No. Why well, we gotta do this, man? Why well, we gotta end the episode? Always like that. We always gotta live it, leave it on the damn cliffhanger. But anyways, man, there we go. Volume two, chapter six. Burning the candle, and you know I love, no, I love Yang, man. Yang is such a freaking cool ass girl. You know she's such a, an amazing friend. Also, going up to Black and just telling her the truth, but also telling her a little bit of her backstory, something that we haven't seen yet. Especially after doing the soundtrack reaction, like we, I didn't get that from her. Like she, she has so many more layers to her, many more feelings that she's hiding inside. Obviously, with the story of her mom and Ruby's mother, also because they both have two different mothers, and both of them disappearing. 
So I don't know if both of their mothers are dead or they just disappeared. But also in the, the red trailer, Ruby's in front of a grave. So maybe her mother's dead. I don't know. But yeah, man, such an amazing, such an amazing character Yang is. And, you know, she's doing the right thing by telling Blake, look, I'm not telling you to give up and to stop researching and stop trying to solve this. But you got to take a break here and there and just enjoy life. Go sleep because she's tired as hell. And just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself with the people that you love, which is her team and all her friends in Team Juniper also. And I'm guessing other people also in Beacon. And, you know, she actually shows up to the dance, ready to dance. But th there's a little, I don't know, maybe a subtle hint there that maybe there might be something between Blake and Yang. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe. And, yeah. John Arc, once again, taking another L. But hopefully, hopefully I'm praying to the Ruby Gods. Please, 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 please. Let him get his mind right. And let him go ask Pira. I mean, for fuck's sakes, man. Go ask Pira Nikos. She is the one. She's the one you are supposed to be with. Not Weiss. Oh, man. I mean, I get why he he's interested in Weiss, obviously. For obvious reasons. He listed everything. But... He's also describing Pira like that, man. I don't know about the singing ability, but <laughs> everything else, that's Pira as well. And yeah, and then we end with this huge cliffhanger. Again, Mercury and Emerald show up at the dance and they said they're going to... forgot, they're going to do something at the dance. So I don't know if they're actually going to cause some trouble or are they just going to try to figure stuff out. Try to figure out more semblances from the rest of the crew. And yeah, man. Get another great episode. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Ruby reactions. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. I have to, I have to watch the next one. I cannot be left on this cliffhanger. All right, peace.